Hey ladies and gents, this is Isdewis coming at you from PowerLordsReturn.com with a review of the last two uh, figures in this Kickstarter. Um, I've reviewed uh, all the rest of them, so the last two. Alright, um, the last two are the Orc Legion Builder and the Dwarf Legion Builder, okay? The Dwarf Legion Builder is a sort of blackish gunmetal gray figure, um, head to toe, with these gold um, horns and for me he sort of cries out he's one of those legion builder figures that cries out to be mixed and matched and made more excitement exciting especially because of the gold gold um, horns so I'm going to give him a little bit of a makeover while I talk about the orc figure okay the orc figure is one of those legion builder figures that I think is just perfect um, exactly the way he is. You'll hear some popping in the background. That's because I'm going to I'm gonna start mixing and matching Legion Builder pieces on this um, Legion Builder Dwarf from some other Legion Builder figures like the Gold Knight so that he I can make him pop and then at the end of the before the end of the review we bring him out and everybody oohs and everybody ahs, you know, just like the makeover um, shows on TV. So, um, that's what I'm doing. So that's what that popping is. But, um, the, as I mentioned before, the dwarf, I mean, the orc legion builder figure is pretty much perfect as is, I think. Um, because he's, you know, a, a brute, a grunt, and he doesn't really need anything in the way of fancy, schmancy, um, uh, adornments or armor or anything like that. Um, I want to mention the fact that both of these figures come with, you know, the full accoutrement of of accessories that the deluxe figures come with. Like, for example, the orc comes with this cool um, gunmetal gray longsword, this cool, you know, gray that matches um, his... It's 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 an axe, a battle axe, and it comes with the other piece that can make it a double bladed battle axe. He also comes with this second sword, so the shorter um, long sword, and obviously the pauldrons and the the belt. So he he comes with a full range of accessories. So does the dwarf. Uh, the the dwarf accessories are. A gold shield, gold battle axe, which I really, really like, and the gold longsword. And, of course, he also comes with the, the pauldrons and the, you know, belt and the belt. Um, so, okay, um, the orc is one of those figures that I don't think needs anything in the way of, of extras. He's just a grunt. You know, he's a brute. He's back in the, he's one of the troops. So uh, you pay half as much for him. He doesn't have as many paint apps. Maybe if you're uh, talented, you can paint in some dirt, some grime, and some blood, and spice him up that way. But he's pretty much perfect and ready to go. Kind of like the other, some of the other Legion Builders that I've already reviewed. The um, Legion Builder, the Skeleton Legion Builder with the Gunmetal Gray, is absolutely perfect just the way he is. I think he, this guy. Um, uh, well, he doesn't come with these fancy weapons, but just the way he is, is a, is a perfect figure and actually one of my, uh, you know, favorite figures uh, in the line. Same thing with the Silver Knight. Well, his sword, it, his um, shield is a little plain, so I would probably gussy that up somewhat. But um, other than that, you know, a Silver Knight is an iconic image. He's got a little touch of of color there and that's all he needs he doesn't need anything else in the way of uh, snazzing him up but um, this uh, I remember I, I created this character which is now one of my favorites just mixing and matching the gold parts in from the other the, the Night Legion Builder um, with the gold skeleton created a great great figure so I guess the point I'm trying to make is that some Legion Builder figures you're going to want to mix and match. Some you're not. Um, Orc 
it's perfect the way he is. But let's bring um, let's bring dwarf out because dwarf I think really benefits from um, mixing and matching. And here's what I've decided to do with him. Ta-da! Dwarf is now got a little bit more bling to him. He's got the gold pauldrons down. Oh, the gold pauldrons up here. He's got the gold um, armor pieces down there. And all of that accents the gold horns that he came with. And I changed his head from the uh, original head to the head that came with the barbarian pack. And then all of a sudden you have this snazzy looking dwarf uh, figure that fits in really, really well with my other mix and match figure, which was the snazzy looking gold skeleton head. So, um... That's, uh, that's, here's another, here's another figure that I sort of made a mix match night out of. Um, but that just shows you how much fun you can have with these figures. Even if, if you like them as is, you leave them as is. If you don't, then just go ahead and go all out, mix and match. Have fun with your Legion builders. Have fun with your deluxe figures. Um, I, it has really been an honor and a pleasure to get to the, review all these figures. I'm, I'm, um, a little sad that uh, there aren't going to be any more Kickstarter Mythic Legions figures to review, but after the Kickstarter, we're going to have more figures and hopefully I'll get a chance to show those to you, uh, in the future. Um, I still have some accessory packs to review. Uh, the standards to take a look at and stuff like that. But these two, the dwarf and the orc, are the last um, of the figures in the box. So now I've got, I'm going to start incorporating them into my collection and, um, you know, looking forward to adding more because this is definitely, uh, I would say, the best line of action figures out there right now and the most exciting for me.